there. This is your orchestration tutor, Thomas Goss, with a few thoughts about how the orchestration online community grew in 2016, and some news about what I've got planned for 2017. There's been a general sense that 2016 was, to say the least, not the greatest of years. But at least in our little corner of social media, it was just the opposite. I've seen more composers improve, gain opportunities, and confidently guide other composers than ever before. Orchestration Online on Facebook grew to over 16,000 members, and despite that large size, there have been very few upsets, trolling, or spamming. I like to think that we composers have better things to spend our time on than undermining each other or starting unnecessary food fights over completely irrelevant topics. And nearly every one of you has proven me right there's been a very high level of creative and educational exchange. Meanwhile on YouTube, thanks to the kind support of my patrons, I was able to release over 50 videos in one year. While some of these are exclusive to my Patreon crowd, most of them are for everybody to watch, and they include orchestration lessons, book reviews, career advice, and of course, the massive open online orchestration course, which I just finished on the stroke of midnight, New Year's Eve. What's been great about this slew of videos is not necessarily their quantity on my part, but how you've all been putting them to good use. I'm seeing hundreds of members use the information and training immediately, and that's what I've wanted the most. So thank you all very much. You're fulfilling my vision of how the internet should be used for us all to grow as artists, and you've inspired me to work harder as well. That's not to say that 2016 was a bed of roses. I had a few personal challenges with computer failures, some very badly timed illnesses, and an ongoing remodeling project that proved extremely distracting. But I came through it all, and the upside is that I've got a very quiet little studio in which I can work without too many distractions. Thanks everyone very much for your patience through a very confusing but ultimately productive year. So here we are in 2017, a new year with new possibilities. Here's how that will look for the orchestration online community. First things first, I've got some loose ends to tie up, and the biggest one is the sister course to my last Mac Pro video training installment, Orchestration 102, The Wind Section. I'm already working on Orchestration 103, Wind Instruments, and I plan to have that finished by spring of this year. My hope is that composers out there will gain a deeper, more instinctive grasp of how to score wind instruments after taking both courses, or at least have a baseline of understanding upon which they can build through further study. After that, I'm going to set aside a few months to write my next book, 100 More Orchestration Tips. There's so much that I wasn't able to cover in the first 100 tips, that there's at least enough for another book or two. While I'm writing it, I'll be keeping everything going, the YouTube channel, the Facebook group, and a bit of Twitter, and especially Patreon where I'll be previewing a lot of these tips. I'll release some of them as videos and blog posts for the whole Orchestration Online community as well, and I hope you'll find them useful. I'll be in Los Angeles for the book release in August, and I'd love to hang out with everyone and maybe do a launch or a reading while I'm there. Please get in touch if you have any suggestions via the contact email on the Orchestration Online website, or just post in the Facebook group. I'd love to hear from you. When I get back to New Zealand, it will be time to launch yet another course. MOOC Term 2, String Orchestra Scoring. This round will progress the training I started in Term 1 to the orchestral level introducing the double bass, and covering such topics as the role of high and low strings, scoring original compositions and arranging existing music, and dealing with one or more soloists. Both this upcoming MOOC and the first three video orchestration courses will prepare you for further open online courses covering larger and larger orchestral groups. I've got to get back to work now, but more videos are on the way over the coming weeks. See you soon.